I was going to watch a pretty interesting video. I, I saw this yesterday. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just pull it up here and uh, and watch it. This is a little bit of a little bit of a situation here. Um, Twitch TV has a massive problem. I'm curious to see what this is going to be, man. The problem is Amarath? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Let's start. Twitch.tv, the most popular live streaming platform on the planet. The service yep. has gone through many changes over the years from the games only start to real life streams, just chatting, oh, events, yeah. live shows, and of course, everybody's favorites, ASMR, hot tubs, and gambling. It's safe to say that if you are in the market- Those are the top three, man. That's what it's all about, man. Uh, titties, titties and slots. Some entertainment, you can find just about anything on Twitch. Now, I've used Twitch since the very start, both as a viewer and yeah. a streamer. I love Twitch from both... I actually saw my uh, my Twitch account was made in, like, 2010 or 2011. Like, I, I, I don't know how I made a Twitch account that early. ...perspectives for what it allows me to do, to connect with other people who have yeah. a shared interest. Whether that is sharing my interests and being social as a broadcaster, or just having Imagine another that. person there on my screen who I can relate to or be entertained by. I, e I like I, I like Twitch because I can just... I, Twitch makes grinding in a video game not boring. Because I can grind on something in a video game for like four hours, but I'm reading chat the whole time, so it doesn't matter to see why people form bonds when they watch creators for hundreds or thousands yep. of hours spanning across multiple years. Most of us appreciate having that person there that we've known for a long time that grows with us. Twitch is fantastic for what it does and what it provides. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, this ability to connect with people has also turned Twitch into the stalker's paradise. The fucking and it freaks, is man. The crazy... Uh, uh, that's my number two? Yeah. SQC streams so much. It is fucking ridiculous, man. It is wild. I don't know. There are some people that just go live all of the time, man. It's nuts. 20 hours a day. Well, yeah, I mean, it's not really that much, but, like, it's still a lot, man. I think for me, if I... I could get to that point, but there's, like, something mentally where I'm, like, not really there. Because I don't really get... It's like the more that I do it, the more it's okay to do it. It's only gotten worse over time. Yeah, S fans and the will same way. probably get worse from here. And that isn't to say this is a new concept. It's not specific to TikTok Twitter. team servers. A father fatally shot arm stalker at Florida home. Hey, my man. My motherfucking man. There you go. Bro, you bet your fucking ass, dude. Somebody busts into his goddamn house to fuck with his daughter. Bro, he just shoot they ass dead, man. That's the way it goes. The platform, and I don't think Giga they Chad are to blame dead. as a company, yep. at least not always. This has happened, of course, to YouTube creators. No, nah, it's got nothing to do with Twitch. It's not Twitch's fault at all. I do think that Twitch could do a better job controlling people that are weird. But yeah, definitely, and like a, a little bit more like proactive protections and things like that. But they've actually done that too. I think they've been doing a much better job. But this is not something that's unique to Twitch. I think that Twitch is whenever it happens a lot more because there's two reasons. Number one, because you're watching somebody for eight hours a day. There are people people that like oh well you know if they're watching me eight hours a day you're gonna get a general idea of what the person is like okay like even i in my opinion i think dr disrespect if you go out drinking with dr disrespect i think guy beam turns into dr disrespect at some point throughout the night of drinking that's what i've always fucking thought and so there it, it, this is not just a completely different character and uh yeah a hundred percent right and so for me, it's kind of the same thing. Like, yeah, I play things up for the stream. And yeah, it's not exactly how I act off stream, but it's effectively the same thing. So like you, you have that happen a lot and people think that they know you maybe a little bit better than they do or maybe a little bit better than they should. And that's one big reason. And the other big reason is that it's live. So you have more stream snipers, more people showing up. It's like you're out there eating food and they're calling the restaurant asking if try hard is there it's like oh fuck you know but like they they don't, they don't kind of do that in the video because number one they don't know when it's going to happen and number two they, they it just gets edited out but you can't edit shit out whenever it's live in six different locations and i've had fans 
fans. Coming up to each and every single one of them. It's fucking weird. And in a broader context to celebrities in all industries. Twitch is, however... Yeah, it's my... like some people are, uh, are what what's the word for, like, out of pocket with that stuff? Like, it, it's not... The thing is, like, any... It, it's like it's common sense shit, right? So, like, if somebody comes up to me, they're like, yo, uh, that, that you know, like, thanks for your videos whatever the fuck I, I like them I'm like all right thanks a lot man i fucking appreciate that like it's okay like if, if you're just a normal person like it's it's fine like it, it don't don't feel like like most people if you i don't know about most people right but like for me right if somebody sees me like in public like, i don't that doesn't bother me at all like i'm fine with that but it, it's 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 weird stuff christina grimmy got shot by a stalker in florida yeah yeah i mean that happens opinion the worst of them weird, all yeah. just due to how live streaming works the same mechanisms that make some people stick around mm -hmm. for hours every single day to form bonds and parasocial relationships that typically benefit the streamer is also the mechanisms that create this problem you are on and Twitch. it's also that uh streamers make money off of the parasocial relationships too because the people that think that they're your friend or that they have some level of emotional investment in you are more willing to give you money so, like, don't ever think that this is just something that viewers do. This is something that streamers do, too. Ms. Kiff is milking this? Okay, I'm going to pull up your logs in Ms. Kiff's chat right now. Bro, what, you're... Uh, bro, bro... <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. It's will OTK move if Texas secedes from the US? Bro, how old are you? Bro, for real, how old are you? Uh, uh 43. I got to I got to I'm going to have to lay down after this stream, man. I have to lay down, bro. Oh my god. Oh my god, you don't know he's lying. You don't know that. Providing a product, that product is you, and you cannot control who is watching you. God, I'm fucking It could be ugly. a 45 year old man from Texas who has a wife, two kids, a stable job. He's normal. He just likes to watch your Grand Theft Auto 5 roleplay sessions and- I, I think that like, every time, as I said, I hard- I never have kids come up to me. Ever. Like, it's like happened like three times my whole life. And, and, like, all three of them were at, I think, conventions. Every time, it's some guy with, like, partially gray hair. And he's like, honey, wait a second. Wait a second, just a minute. I, there's Asma Gold. And, she, and, and, you know, like, she's looking at, oh, fuck. And he's like, oh, Asma! I'm like, hey, big dick, bro! I'm like, yeah! And he's like, okay, it's all right, honey, all right, let's go. That's it, every single time. Yeah, never, never, yeah, it's hardly ever girls or anything, it's always guys, and that's it. Donate you a couple dollars each month for the enjoyment he receives. It could be a 16 year old who likes watching your sick skills in Fortnite or Valorant yeah. and aspires to be as skilled as you, picking up tips along the way, looking up to you for your abilities. Or, on the flip side, or, it could be someone whom by malevolence- Terrified by someone who tried to poison her own- That's crazy, yeah! Or mental health troubles cannot separate their thoughts from reality. Perhaps they watch to harass oh you, to find God. your address and scare you, or send things to your well, home. Oh, see, that's why in Texas we don't have that problem. Like, the thing is, people pull this shit in Texas, I'll be honest. If somebody- like that guy that shot that dude coming in to stalk, like his, his, uh, what do you call it? His daughter, my motherfucking man. Somebody walks onto somebody else's property with this stalking shit, bro, pop them the fuck off. I would not give a fuck. I would not give a fuck. Like you do that, there's a, th here's a fact. That's never going to happen to you if you don't walk onto somebody else's fucking property. Like that's it. I don't care. I don't care pizzas or SWAT teams which has resulted in deaths in the past That's true. or maybe they watch you because they think you are or will be romantically interested in them whatever the reason is you what, what do you mean what do you mean if you can be sure that the real world apparatus for protecting yourself is dated to say the least I'd call it not fit for purpose yeah. best case scenario is it's not helpful worst case scenario it's harmful to your situation 
this is like most things common in our daily lives due to social media or the internet the laws the regulations the policies or whatever other word or system you can think of is simply out of date i can tell you this firsthand as i've been the target of harassment and threats in my time being a content creator though luckily not as bad as some of the examples we're about to talk about oftentimes yeah their advice starts me the thing is like the problem is not that this shit happens. It's the problem is that the authorities don't know how to handle it. There are a lot of authorities that are just like, oh, well, just um, uh, wear a mask or something like that. Just don't stream. You'll call the police and they simply don't do anything or they tell you they can't do anything and you mm -hmm. should be fine. Call them if something more serious happens. So the latest story to come out of the Twitch sphere on this one really displays how bad things can get. Yeah. Popular streamer Caitlyn, or better known as Amaranth, has shared stories with creepy strangers and stalkers numerous times in the past. It's a common occurrence, unfortunately. It was unfortunate. It was fortunately like one guy, and that guy is like taken care of now, which is good. Yeah, it, it, that that's a good thing. A latest stalker, though. This one's terrifying. On June 7th, 2022, Amaranth posted on Twitter stating the following, quote, I have a stalker who has been in my area since May 8th. He literally watches my stream all day and badly mimics everything I do. Does ASMR badly, takes a shower on his Twitch stream when I'm in the hot tub. In the past, I've reported him for restreaming me, but because he had traveled all the way from Estonia to my city, living in a nearby hotel, I want his stream to remain up so I can keep a close tab on him. She goes on to describe that she has home security and has recently hired an armed guard to live in the guest quarters of her home. That's now, so crazy, man. Like, that's so crazy that's even a thing. Really, like, that is a... That, that I mean, that is too fucking much. Get a restraining order? Bro, I can guarantee you that his love is more powerful than any restraining order. That's cute. I mean, it is. It's cute for you to say that, but that's a fact. Reiterate on that tweet for you, so you know we're all on the same page of how insane this is. A man who Bro, watches... Territory her kid no, here's the thing, right? It's like, I, I think like, so there's there's two things that you, you got you got to keep in mind. Like, number one, it does go with the territory. If, if you stream, if you put out content, you're going to have people that harass you. If you put out content... You're going to have people that fucking hate you. If you have content and it's popular, you're going to have weirdos that try to get involved with you like with your life in like some sort of like a serious way. This happens to fucking everybody. But like it, it is okay to have that and it's also okay to say that it shouldn't happen. Like both of these things are true. And and it's like you should still do more to to make this shit not the case. Live stream, which is small price to pay for being millionaire and famous. Tell that to Christine Grimmy. Shut up. Shut up. Talk about that shit, man. Bob has found her home city and then moved there from Estonia, a country in Europe. He's moved to the United States yep. where he lives in a hotel nearby. She goes on to detail that he has sold all of his worldly possessions to do this. His home, his car, his furniture, his cat, everything. He's How given up on his life and he's getting himself into crippling debt, ruining his future to be near her. A stranger on the internet yep. whom he watches. Now, if the concept of someone there's a lot of fucking people. Like the internet is like this, and this is the kind of stuff, man. It, it is like guys get into this stuff, and it's just how. Like here's here's the the sad part about it, is that you can hold this person accountable, and you have to hold this person accountable. But you also have to keep in mind this person is not of a sound mind straight up like this is not a normal rational like level-headed thinking person no shit well what i'm saying is like mental health should also be a big conversation point in talking about this stuff because i think a lot of the people that get involved with this shit it's it's their mental health that's 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 fucked up and that's how it happens up in your city isn't bad enough the fact he leaves himself very little ability to return back to that previous life as he's gotten rid of it all is extremely worrying it essentially means he has nothing to lose now according to amaranth yeah. the police have been well aware of the situation the whole time they know where he is they have regular patrols but they cannot do anything despite the fact he's made his intents of finding her very clear he live streams on twitch all day yeah. with his twitch titles literally saying 
find Caitlyn, aka Amaranth, and make her mine. Like, how's this not like a... How, how's this not a you-have-to-go-back situation? Like, I, I'm gonna be honest. Like, if, if I saw that, I was in charge, I'd be like, you get the fuck out of the country. Get, get the fuck out of here. Like, this is too much. Add on to this, the hotel the stalker was staying in wasn't picked randomly. It was picked because it has direct line of sight to Amran's P.O. box, which of course she owns so that her fans can send her things without having her actual address. Yeah. He spent over a month camping out at Starbucks next to the P.O. box just in case she showed up. He of course also sent her explicit messages, I would naked never videos guessed. of him dancing, and repeatedly called her his fiance. He would type in chat in response, liar, li liar, mmm, my fiance. Now I think it's observable when somebody's like this, when they're this unwell. You yeah. either stop them or they escalate. And of course he did. He followed the pattern. Well, they, they, they escalate and it's, it's bad for them too. Like it, there's no positive of letting this, like nobody wins whenever you let this shit go on. After 44 days of this behavior, despite repeatedly saying on his live stream, he knew Such what- Such as big streamers as small streamers too. No, you're right. There's a lot of people that have to deal with shit like this. And it's not just shit like this. It's like other stuff as well. Uh, I, I mean, it, it's too much, man. It really is. The guy was like the biggest beta nerd on the planet. Bro, like, who gives a fuck? It, it's like anybody can have their head fucked up, man. But yeah, he does. He was doing was wrong, but he just had to do it. Is not OnlyFans appealing to these kinds of people? Um, What is it that makes, like, OnlyFans explicitly appeal to people who are, like, fucked up in the head, right? Like, I, I don't think so. Like, uh, obviously not. Uh, it, it, the thing is, like, you can make, the, if you want to make that argument, I think that you can make that argument for, like, any live stream period. Like, I, I think you can make a very strong argument that live streams are more appealing for people in a parasocial way than YouTube and videos on a categorical level. Like, this is going to happen. Like, and just because you have a longer, uh, like, I guess, level of connection, like, Amrath is live for 12 hours a day. So, like, is it a person's fault for being live 12 hours a day because being live that long gives people more of an opportunity to have a parasocial relationship with them? I actually, I think that it's very obvious that that's the case. And it's very obvious that there is a cause and effect here, but you don't blame the person. And I think the reason why you're blaming OnlyFans in this circumstance is because you don't like OnlyFans, and it actually has nothing to do with a logical conclusion. Because if you were able to draw a logical conclusion to that, you could say that for five other things as well. Yeah, he didn't blame OnlyFans? Oh, come on. Oh, come on. He showed up at her house, where she lives, still live streaming himself the whole time. Mm -hmm. For 30 minutes, he walked around the outside of her property, and still, the police did nothing, despite being made aware of the situation. He then tried to break in. 911 was called, and according to Amaranth, dispatch was rude. They cut her off, put her on hold, and it took 33 minutes for the police to arrive. The police weren't really uh, taking it too seriously until he was physically, like, in my lot, right? Up and down That's the That's fucking crazy that they weren't doing that. Like, I, I feel so bad for her because, like, uh, you know, we've had to call the fire department at least. Like, I can't really call, you know, I make, make a reference to the police, but I can say with the fire department, bro, they are there in a snap. Like, they are there so fast. I had to do it twice for my mom. And so, uh, I, I, she lives in Uvalde. <laughs> But I'm not going to make a joke about that because that shit's not funny. But if I would, it would be at the police's expense. I can't fucking believe any of them still have their jobs. They should be in fucking jail. Anyway, I don't want to get too far into that. Firemen, yeah, it's like you never hear about fucking all firemen are bastards. You never hear that shit. It's always the cops. That's it. A anyway, uh, I, I do support the police in general. But man, there are some places that need some more oversight. There are, and it is a disgrace. The government there, it is a disgrace that they don't have more oversight. It fucks it up for everybody else and the good cops. It, it just makes their life so much harder. Uh, anyway, I'm not going to get too far into that. What, what I'm saying is like, like the fact that that had to happen for them to take it seriously is insane. It, it's absolutely fucking insane. The EMT and the firemen are gig chat. Yeah, they are. Like I've, as I said, like we, we've only had good good experiences.
street, they were just like, uh, whatever. When they did, they detained him yeah. and contacted the embassy. Amrath clarifies he's no longer in the city. Thank God. And that's all she can say for now. That's good. Hopefully that's all she should means say. means he's not going to be returning. Now, this is not a happy ending. Despite him there being... was this other, uh, there was a friend of mine, uh, fucking, I, I knew... So, like, you know, Meg Turney? It was, like, a weird thing where, like, I, I knew her brother. And, like, he told me about, like, that whole situation that happened with her. Like, this guy straight up was, like, in their house. And the police came there. And he was going to kill her boyfriend or her husband or some shit. The police killed him. Isn't that crazy? His house? Her house? I don't know. No, I meant, like, her boyfriend's house. It was, like, I, I don't remember exactly what it was. Like, it was wild. Good? I think good, too. Like I've said before, right? The moment that you step foot into somebody else's property, your life is in the garbage, in my opinion. You're done. Don, it shows that the police will do nothing, despite there being clear evidence of stalking and harassment. Yeah. What would be the requirement to do something before it got to the stage of him trying to break into a house? At what point is this man breaking the law? At what point is he deemed a threat? Only apparently when he's literally on her property. This is consistent across almost every one of these cases that are brought to light publicly, yeah. and it displays a massive issue. Had it not been for the fact that this man livestreamed his daily activities and made it known to Amanth what he was planning to do, minute by minute, due to that live stream, had she not the means to Yeah, hire that's like, it's one of the positive things, is most people that are stalkers like this are just so fucking crazy that they're not really in control, um, uh, they're not really in control of the situation. You know, and, and like, they end up fucking themselves up. So it, it is one one small positive. Like one time I had a guy pull a gun on me uh, whenever I was streaming, but I don't think that that was because I was like streaming. I think that he just wanted to, sh like he just pulled the gun out. Like, yeah, it was on, it was like me and Rich and s uh downtown. It was like uh, 8th Street or something like that. And uh, he was living out of a, a stretch Hummer. And uh, yeah, Fandy's in chat. Fandy, you were there that day. And um I remember I told my dad that a guy pulled a gun out on me and my dad was like, oh, that's so great. That would have been good content. Did they like that? And I'm like, yeah, they kind of did. Yeah, people thought that was, yeah, it was something, right? Yeah, he didn't give a fuck. Most normal in a moment. Yeah. He wanted us to go into his stretch limo and uh, go pick up chicks and smoke weed with them armed security this man Rich could quite there, easily have shown up you. to a house and things could have ended a totally different way for example Very in the true. case of meg turney this oh, man had been is. stalking her for a while and he broke into her and her partner's home in 2018 with, with a, a gun i didn't know with that. the intent of committing murder of her partner yep. and likely other crimes that i cannot say but you can infer from the situation of course. the couple had to hide in the closet after they heard the window break and a gunshot and the man had time to search the home briefly before leaving where the police had arrived and fatally shot him. Got Meg Turney him. had to stop posting videos, which was her main source of income for half a year after, due to fear for her safety and, of course, the mental toll that something like Got this would him, take. Boys. There it another is. example, another Twitch streamer, Sweet Anita. She had to deal with a guy threatening and stalking her for years, the police doing almost nothing in response. The guy literally a assaulted her, bullet. threatened her constantly, showed up at her house, was caught walking to her house with a knife in his possession, broke into her mother's home, oh my God. threatened her mother and to kill her mother's animals. I mean, she would walk downstairs. That's a bit much, man. Like, that's, a, you know, like, this is why I say that I, I'm a big fan of the Second Amendment. I, we love the Second Amendment here. We, we love it would be on his knees at the front door looking Police at her through her letterbox yeah. he would sleep in her back garden and she says he would literally stand at her door knocking for hours at a time he calmly walked over making eye contact with me through the window of my house and just sat on the bench whipped out a drink and just went and carried on watching whenever she left the house he would follow her she even got a restraining order and still he continued breaching the restraining order constantly yeah. and receiving zero repercussions the entire time this was happening, she constantly called the police. The police picked him up on his way to her home with a knife after he had sent her messages saying, I'm on my way to kill you now. And they released him from custody three minutes walk away from her house after doing absolutely nothing. That man, man, ain't that something? Ain't that just a bit something? Like, what the fuck? Yeah. It, it, it's like, and think about this. Every time that somebody gets arrested for smoking weed you, you you know what i mean like this is what happens 
we either have people getting fucking put in a box for smoking weed and we've got uh, this guy going off and doing all this shit. It's nuts, man. But uh, police is a joke. Uh, they only want to arrest people for tweets. Oh, I mean, this, that's not in, in the U.S. And shit, if that was the case, he'd be arrested because he was tweeting about that shit too. Yeah, it's nuts, man. Uh, I just, like, I can't believe that. What state was it in? I have no idea. This is a 2022 version of a Me Too movement? No, not really. It's just the thing is, it's not a Me Too movement because many people, like, the fact is, like, how many of y'all, like, know a girl that was in a situation like this? It was in the UK? Oh, shit. I, see, like, I did, I, I, I honestly, like, I don't watch her stream. I don't know that. That's my bad. I didn't know that. Like, yeah, me, yeah, y'all know this. Like, I was a girl. Yeah, there, there it is. So, like, a lot of people had this happen. So, like, it is, like, the problem is, like, a lot of guys don't have this happen to them because of, like, just the nature of, like, fucking how relationships work. It's the old fucking Chris Walk rock joke. It's like, you have a plenty of guys telling jokes about how crazy their girlfriend is. You don't have plenty of girls talking about their crazy boyfriend because they're fucking dead. That's a fact. That's a fucking fact. And it is scary as shit for a girl. That's it, yeah. Uh, like, bro, no, no, that's uh, that's what it is, brother. Bruce. Yeah, and so you're scared to death, yeah. And, and that's why I usually try to take that shit seriously. Uh, I do. That was one stalker. She's now come public again with another stalker who's been messaging her daily for months claiming he will be going to TwitchCon, which is an in-person event that many streamers attend, to yep. meet her, despite her not wanting to meet him, of course. He says he will be going in a disguise and details how he loves her and doesn't want to hurt her or her security. Now, every single time something like this comes out online, there is a massive number of females. I saw this girl had a bunch of fucking trouble with it. I wonder, like, and this is just like a fact, is like, do you think that it's better to, um, to not talk about it at all? Or is it better to spread awareness? Because, like, I actually don't know. Like, there, there's a 100% talk about it. Like, talk about, like, I, I think that really, here's what my opinion is. I think that it should be up to the individual. It should be up to the person. Like, you should never tell somebody they should talk about it or they should not. It should be, like, their own decision of, like, what they should do as a person, what they're comfortable with. Most streamers or content creators that share their own stories. Stories that you will likely never know about because it if, happens if to... I get, if I had to give somebody advice... There's a big part of me where I, I would honestly probably tell them not to tweet about it. Like, if I had to give somebody that I cared about advice for their own personal safety, I would probably tell them not to talk about it. Because, like, I would be worried that by talking about Why? Because I would be worried that by talking about it, it gives that person more ammunition. Now they feel like they're more involved. Now they feel like, oh man, you know, I'm really getting through to her, right? Now she's talking about me, et cetera, right? It's validation. So that's what would fucking like, it, it, it's like, like, fuck the greater, the greater good shit, right? I'm talking about like in general, uh, that's the way that I would feel. It rewards them. Yeah. Notice me, senpai? Exactly. So like, if it was somebody I cared about, that's probably what I would do even smaller creators that don't get the headlines. You never see their social media posts about it, but it's happening. It doesn't matter how big they are, how small they are in terms of viewership, the harassment, the stalking, the death threats, the threats of violence, they are consistent across the board. It doesn't matter what their style of content is, what they stream or how they stream it, it will just happen. The fact this yep. happens is not the only consistent thing, of course. The and, and like, that's the shit, like, the thing is, like, you got one, one situation with, like, some weirdo who's, like, sending you weird messages. This is, that, that's, this is a bit much, right? I mean, like, this is some saw shit. These people have problems, yeah. These, these people have actual problems. That's deranged, yeah. ...of authorities, the lack of tools to deal with the situation, that is as consistent as the problem itself. I actually don't think it's Another a lack of tools at all. I, I think that it's because... It's because the FBI, like, the fact is, like, a lot of the people that work at, like, the FBI and these actual uh, fucking, these agencies, these people are not stupid. They have a lot of tools, and they can fucking find you if they, if they want to and if they have the resources for it. But, you know, it's Friday, and we're going to have a potluck, and so, like, you know, we're going to do that, and... 
Uh, you know, it's not that big of a deal. Nobody's been killed yet. I don't know this person. Like, it's whatever, right? And, and so I think that's what happens. Yeah, it, it, it's too much, man. It's too fucking much. Example, a creator called Nally Please, a World of Warcraft streamer. An ex-cop stalked her from- This guy, uh, th this guy got fucked over too. I would have, uh, covered this, but I thought, like, you know, she probably just wanted to be past this in her life, and that's why I didn't. Since she's, like, not that big of a creator. Once threatening to murder her, photoshopping her face onto the naked images of other women, spreading them around, pretending it was her. I even got that person, uh, th they were fucking in my, in my, uh, messages. I just fucking blocked them. Yeah, that, that's it her personal information pretending to be her trying to find her in real life yep. the list goes on she tried to get a restraining order against this man you know what information she needed to provide to proceed with a restraining order her home address that the defendant yep. would gain access to should she wish to proceed so to clarify to get a restraining order something that is easy to break and the consequences as previously shown could amount to zero well it, it doesn't matter the thing is like let's if if so, like what what's the logic here Oh, they have a restraining order against me? So it's against the law to go here. Well, yeah, but it'd be against the law to stab you too, but they've got a knife in their hand. So, like, there's no logic with this at all. We need to give her stalker, who is threatening to kill her, the address she lives at. Luckily, this man has since what? been arrested by the FBI, and if convicted, will face up to five years in federal prison. One ah. of the rare cases where something happens before it's too late. Good. Unfortunately, though, this went on for months, and Nally please stopped streaming, as far as I'm aware, which basically means that the career that she was yeah, pursuing, she and of course, the income that she was getting from it in the meantime, is just gone. And of course, the mental toll that this takes on you is something that cannot Spent be Spent a week in cardiac... I see. The thing is, like, Born Good, like, by the way, Born Good is, like, such a good guy. Like, not only is he a good guy, obviously, for this, but he carried my fat, lazy, useless sandbag ass to 3K rating in, in BFA. We got 3K in BFA with Born Good. He is so fucking good. He is one of the best paladins to ever do it. He was Born Good. Into numbers or into words. There are hundreds of examples of this online. People have been murdered yep. like this. Deranged people have, have found where somebody lives, gone to their house, and killed them. We live in a world where you yep. can make a living online being a content creator, a streamer, an entertainer, a public True. personality, and yet we have almost no protections at all. It is so incredibly easy to find where somebody lives, and there's almost nothing you can do about it. Even when somebody is literally threatening you, and you can tell them mm -hmm. exactly where they are, exactly what they've done, and it's there for you in plain black and white, the police will almost never do anything about it. It really confuses me how social media yep. is such a huge part of most people's lives, and yet the laws and restrictions surrounding your personal identifiable information have not changed in a way mm -hmm. that makes you harder to find for the it's public. Nuts. This needs to change. It needs to be way harder to find people if you've not publicly put your address out there. I don't know why it's okay for people to be able to find where you live simply by finding out your real name and- I don't- yeah, I agree with that too. I completely agree with that. Googling you. Now this video mostly focuses on the stalkers of female streamers because they have it the worst right now. But you're not even safe if you're a man. Swatting has been a thing for years, which is where a deranged viewer will call your local police yep. and claim you're holding somebody hostage with a weapon or something else that would prompt an immediate armed response. This has resulted in Gotta pets be being killed, yeah, houses being damaged, and people losing their lives. People being killed over this shit too. I remember one time they shot a dude's dog even. And it's like, the thing is, like with a cop, you're walking into the situation and they told you that somebody's got a fucking gun. I'm going to be honest. It, like, there's a lot of people that are a little bit trigger happy because they think to themselves, bro, it's either going to be me or you. And it, I'm going to be eating dinner tonight. It's like, really? Like, I wouldn't feel like it, it, the cops are going to make a mistake because fuck, it's a life or death situation. You got guns involved. Shit. It's bad, bad training. Bro, my dad told me this whenever he, like, whenever he was in Vietnam. He would say that it doesn't matter who it is, who it was, how much training they had. There were some people that would not even go over the bunker to shoot some days. And everybody was like that sometimes. Like, I, I feel like anybody says it's bad training or whatever. 
probably had never been in that situation before, probably never is going to be in that situation before. It is so fucking stressful. And for anybody who thinks, oh, I know what I'd do. I fucking, I'd die. Yeah, I'd fucking do this and then that. And then. Uh, yeah, right. Shut up. Not to mention the constant waste of resources and the mental toll it takes on the creator. He's just trying yeah. to make a living or enjoy their hobby. People will order pizzas to your house, of order course. escorts to your house. Streamers have had people shoot at their home with firearms. It just never ends. The list keeps getting longer. And a job where you sit in your home making videos or, or playing a video game or whatever else you do is becoming... I hope guys... Uh, ...a very dangerous endeavor. For me, re I hope guys that uh, that are like always... They have like this, this idea in their head where it's like, oh, girls that uh, stream, they have it easy, right? I hope that you notice here that, like, a lot of the people that had this shit happen to them, a lot of them are girls. Disproportionately, it's girls. Massively, disproportionately, it's girls. It happened to XQC, it did. It did. He's not a girl. I didn't say it's only girls. I said disproportionately. Recently, I had somebody repeatedly call my personal number uh. throughout the night and recite my details to me, my entire home address, my full name, my email address, and when I asked them what they wanted, they told me they just wanted to let me know that they knew about me. Prior to this, I had my bank uh -huh. account compromised and my details stolen, people trying to take out credit cards in my name. I've had threatening emails the and Discord fuck? messages. I had to spend over $1,000 on a security system, and now I'm constantly on edge when I hear noises in the house at night. It's incredibly Jesus. scary. It's stressful. I can't even imagine how bad it is for people who get much worse. This is a massive problem. It needs way more attention, and something needs to be done about this. Thank you. I think it's accountability for the uh, for for the the people that are uh, the, the fucking authorities, man. It, it's uh, because like a lot of times, like you can see, like it's not that something isn't being. It's not that like there's not a rule for it. It's that the uh, there's like they they make bad decisions. The the police make bad decisions. That, that's that's what it is. They do it for the rush. People do it for a lot of reasons. Like I, I I'm not gonna get into every reason why somebody does something. Like there's probably 50 different reasons why they happen, right? Uh, yeah, no, he guys show up to TwitchCon. I mean, here's the way I see it. Somebody going to kill me, they're going to get me. They, they're they going to get me. Like, I know for a fact, it's like if somebody wanted to kill me, they could kill me. Right? And that's it. And, and so, like, what, would it happen? I don't know. Maybe. Right? But, like, yeah, you could get lucky and, and have somebody who's, like, so crazy that they, uh, what do you call it? They, they expose themselves but maybe you don't get lucky. Maybe that could happen. And so I, I, I try not to think about this shit a whole lot, man. Like, there's a lot of shit I got to worry about in my own life. And I try to keep that as minimal as possible. Uh, that's what it is. Uh, and uh, Boomer S. Garment, 70 years, barely understands the internet. Yeah, I, I think it's... Well, but the thing is, like... It's like, I remember my mom was telling me about how, like, man, like, you knew that you were fucked over if, like, you had a, a, a boyfriend, because, like, this is the way it used to be, because she grew up in Florida, right? And, and, like, this is not with my dad or anything, but just, like, people that she knew, etc. It, it's like, you know, you have some domestic violence dispute with your boyfriend, and then you look out the fucking window, the police are there, and the boyfriend's laughing and talking with the cops. And they're laughing and talking to each other, it's like, oh, fuck, man. Like, it looks like there's not gonna be any justice today. Yeah, stay prepared. And, and and really, like, that shit happens. It, it's brutal. For watching. See you next time. Yeah. Uh, it, it is just fucking brutal. Uh, people get crazy or proud just challenged. Um, I, I don't know. Like, there's a lot of things that... that, that the thing is, man, it, like, there's no, that, there's no silver bullet to this shit. Well. Actually. As a matter of fact. Well, there's no one solution to this kind of shit uh yeah um uh, th there's there's no way to, to solve this shit. like it, it's just like people are gonna be nuts and, and like that's it like there's no specific thing etc right uh that's it you have rights for a reason yeah that, there's a video dude this is a good video like P kira put himself out by making this video it's like this is a hard video to make especially with like him being involved with it and everything like that like man like this is some real shit uh, and, and so make sure to give him some support like this guy like as i said I, I really think he's made such a great transition from making just like wow mmo videos or like just mmo videos not really wow but just like making content about like you know larger broader subjects in this i, I think his videos have been really good a and uh I, I respect them a lot and well, look at that five thousand likes this video's got sixty thousand views it have six six hundred thousand views it's a good fucking video man uh that's what it is
And uh, doesn't need to be silver either. Thanks for exposing this. It's a big thing. It absolutely is. And uh, uh, again, RPG and a flamethrower, brother. I, 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 I hit up Elon and see if he's got an extra one still laying around, man. And uh, government fails to protect his people. It's some people people got taken into their own hands. Uh, li listen, I I've got to, um, I I've got to say, like, yeah, it's it's obviously an issue, etc. But you know, I've said it's only three days old. Yeah, but it should still have more views. Um, I'll link it again. Let me link it again. Uh, give him some support, man. This 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 guy is doing the Lord's work, man. You gotta you gotta see this. This is a good thing. Uh, apps of fucking lootly. So uh, it's like, is this stuff ever gonna get really solved? Is it ever gonna be uh, taken care of entirely? Uh, female creators shouldn't state uh, that they're in a relationship, even if they aren't, to deter freaks from develop parasocial relationship settings. Bro, I really, I really like. Okay, so like, I, I want to go ahead and I want to say. Like, I understand you might have, like, a good intentions. But, like, wasn't the guy, this guy here, they, they literally said he knew that she was in a relationship. That's why he was there. So, like, it literally disproven in this video. Like, I I'm telling you, like, there are a lot of ways that you can tell people, like, oh, you should do this, should do that, right? Uh, whatever. Um, I, I think that, like, at the end of the day, it's very hard to to tell somebody else, like, how they should and shouldn't act, etc. I think that people should do what they're comfortable with. Yeah, damned if you do, damned if you don't. Yeah, that that's really what it is. And it's not like you have like a case study to say like this is more effective or less less effective. That's straight up psycho though. Well, which one isn't? Yeah, wh wh which one isn't? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it, it, that's it. What most chat vigilantes don't know sleepless night nightmares come to shooting someone in civilian and military situations, bro. I, I I don't know that. I'll be honest. Like I've never had to uh, never had to shoot somebody. Uh, what what's this here? Teddy said with the wall with the big stick. Yeah, they also lose viewers that come out with a relationship. I mean, people lose viewers with a lot of stuff, right? I mean, like, that's not necessarily... Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I don't want... To, I, the thing is, I would not want to have to... The thing is, I would not want to have to shoot somebody because uh, it would be, like, a big deal, right? <laughs> like, it, like, the thing is, it might seem like it's a simple thing. Oh, you just pop them off, the cops carry them away. That's not it. If they live, they fucking sue you. If they die, you're up for some fucking like man manslaughter charge. Uh, you're like guaranteed. Even if you get off, this is no doubt going to be six months of your life to a year of your life that's going to be tied up with this bullshit. Yeah, it, it's going to be tied up with this bullshit where like you're getting sued. This whole thing is public. It, it's a big deal. So, uh, yeah, a bunch of paperwork, a bunch of stuff going on. So I'll tell you guys one thing. It's always better to avoid a conflict. Like, people can get fucked up. Like, I told, like there's this one dude in Austin. This shit happened to him. Uh, he got in a fight with somebody. He punched the dude in the head. The dude falls down, cracks his fucking skull, and dies. Shit happens. Just, just shit, shit fucking happens. And, and like that dude's like up on a manslaughter charge now and everything like that. All he takes is one hit. So all I'm trying to say is that there's a lot of people that think that they are, uh, they're tough. They're, you know, a, a warrior or whatever. Man, pro fighters run away from a street fight. You're not, you're not tougher than they are. Pro fighters do that. Get, get the fuck out, get the fuck out of there, man. Live to say another day. Live to live to fight another day. Move on with your life. Batman doesn't. Batman's not real. Yeah, anyone with martial arts will avoid the fight. Exactly. Because you never know. The thing is, like, people, you never know. Somebody has a knife. Somebody has a gun. Their friend could come hit you in the back of the head. Like, anything like that could happen. Like, I remember this is like, I, I went to a school with a lot of people that, like, were in gangs and shit. And man, it doesn't matter how tough you are, you can be six, seven, three hundred pounds, and if somebody stabs you, <laughs> you're gonna be on the ground. And it doesn't matter how much you work out or anything, you're you're just you could be dead right there. That's it. It doesn't matter. Like the human body is just so fragile. And don't ever think that you're above that, man. Never think you're above it. Because it's like that's what happens. 
and uh, just press Y. Yeah, and even if you could beat up one dude, there's going to be two dudes. And then if you beat up two dudes, they're going to come back with 20. And that's going to be it, man. That's what happened to people that I knew. Is that they would get in a fight in school and they'd win the fight. Then the, the guy and his homies would come over to, like, you know, this dude's, like, maybe not his house. But, like, you know, catch him off campus or something like that. And just beat the fucking shit out of him. Like, put him in the hospital, beat the fucking shit out of him. Like, beat the shit out of somebody to the level that it changes your life. You know, like, that's it. 